Before I get started with this commentary, let me give a shout out to Blackjack20 on Twitter for sending this story to me. And it is the story has been posted on rawstory.com and it was posted January 13, 2022. So in this picture, you have a man by the name of Tim Boner, who was one of the people who participated in the invasion at the Capitol back in January of last year. Now, this guy threw a temper tantrum like I never heard of before inside of the courtroom when he was in his proceedings during a hearing uh, to see what they were going to do with him. Most likely he was going to get sentenced to something or put in jail. But this guy threw a or had a BF. Now, for those of you who have ever seen the movie White Chicks, y'all know what BF stands for. And uh, it does not stand for best friend. Those of you who do not know, I'm sure someone will inform you down in the comments. So how exactly did he have this little BF that he throw this little tantrum? Well, this guy actually got up in the middle of the hearing and stormed out of the room. And the George, the George and the judge said, OK, we're going to put him back behind bars. So it seems to me like this guy probably could have got a sweetheart deal but he blew it because apparently he thought he was going to hear something he didn't want to hear. And now he blew his own his own bag, so to speak. What an idiot. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tim Boner, age 41, who was accused of pepper spraying and assaulting police on January 6, 2021, during the riot at the U.S. Capitol, lashed out and left the detention proceeding on Wednesday after the judge ruled that he would stay behind bars. Prosecutors say Boner used chemical spray on police multiple times as he stood at the front lines of the riot. He later bragged on Facebook that he effed those cops up. During the hearing, U.S. Magistrate Judge Zia Firaqui Fir stated that he believed Boner was a flight risk and a danger to the community and cited his actions on January 6th and his subsequent social media activity. You got these dumb as comments that you're saying I said but I did not say these things Boner shouted do we really have to go through all of this now this is how he's talking to the judge he's cursing he's loud he's belligerent and he got up and left out of the courtroom like a little girl he was displaying I guess you can say ratchet behavior because like I told you that word ratchet does not just necessarily apply to black people although they make it seem like it should be but ratchet can apply to anybody and we're applying it to him. You guys don't know what happened. Boner continued. You really don't know what happened. You guys are going to believe what you guys want to believe. So, hey, it is what it is. When Farrakwai told Boner he had the option to appeal, the defendant lashed out again. This judge is literally throwing this man, this Boner, a bone. And he's so upset because he just feels like he's been wronged. He probably feels he's been oppressed and he feels like they don't have all the facts and that he shouldn't be there. He said, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm done with this, he said. So I like to go eat my food and play cards. After Boner's exit, Farrakhan continued his reasoning for why he should stay incarcerated, citing Boner's de facto leadership role that day, noting that when rubber bullets rained down instead of running away, he, like a leader, picked up a can of chemical spray. He had no remorse at the time it happened, Farrakhan said. Nothing that's indicated to me he has remorse. Legal experts say new sedition charges prove a coup and insurrection on January 6th. And that's just, I guess that's just something else that they just um threw in there. But this guy is ridiculously stupid. The judge was literally going to say that you have the option to appeal this, but he didn't want to hear this. He just felt like he was not wrong, but he was wrong. Like, listen to what they said. They said he assaulted a police officer using a chemical spray, which they said was a pepper spray. He went in, didn't it was a part of an, an illegal invasion on a government on one of the biggest government buildings in the establishment. And he felt he should just be able to walk free. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to white privilege. It doesn't matter what their financial status is. At that point, that's going into a class issue or a cl the classism talk. And see, here's the thing. Dub, S, or PC, they get it confused when it comes to white privilege and classism. 
when it comes to classism, that's when you start talking about, OK, financial statuses and everything like that, the haves and the have nots. But when it comes to white privilege, that can apply across the board, whether you have whether you have or whether you have not. If that makes sense. This guy looks like a have not. Well, by their standards, he would be. But guess what? He still has white privilege. Like Tariq said in his um in his one of his streams a while back. You have some white people that came over here penniless, but they had millions of dollars worth of whiteness. That is like so factual. And the fact that this guy was allowed to even do that, the fact that he was even allowed to do that, and I didn't even see anywhere in this article where it said he was, he was held in contempt of court for being dis- disruptive like that. He cursed, he got loud, he said he had better things to do, he had to go eat and play cards, and he stormed out of there after the judge said, you're allowed to appeal. I bet you that appeal is now off the table, and it's his own fault. So this guy is just stupid all the way around. He's ignorant and he's dumb. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments.